Next to this lonely man. <laughs> That's just not fair. It's like everyone else grouped together except for this one spot. Come on up. I think it's because. Yeah, it's we got another. Farted. There's another one right there. What yeah. the hell? Oh, yeah. There we go. Hey. Fill in the gaps. Pretty ladies. <laughs> wow, this is either going to work out really well or really badly. All right, so guys, we need to move these tables forward. We do? They need a stage. Oh yeah, that's a good point. We got it. Okay. Oh, yes. ah. This panel involves interaction. Yeah. yeah. So, I'm going to need the hands of four people. Uh, actually, hold on. I want to ask one quick question before we do this. Um, who, who thought that this was going to be us randomly and improving fan fictions? Wrong. <laughs> We're tired. You're doing it. Yeah. So, we are going to read absolutely terrible fan fictions, and you are going to act them out. Awesome. <laughs> sounds amazing. <laughs> there might be prizes. There might be prizes. Hell yeah, man. I actually, I what actually want. giving away. I didn't bring anything. I actually want Wolverine without the claws for mine. Did? Can I have? Can I, can I, can I, no, that has no. No. Okay. Well, I'm doing mine no, second, no, no, so no, no. sit down. So, first of all, I want to say, I'm doing a fanfic, and all we're going to tell you is something it's based on. If it's a crossover, we're only telling you one property. The one half of the one property. One half of the property. So, I'm not doing a crossover, I'm doing an American Dad parody. I need members for Stan's family, one person to be a toilet, and one person to be Stan's box. Oh, and we need a puppy. We also oh, and we also need a dog. Ooh, you, you're the puppy. So, I'm the puppy. <laughs> more acting skills than that. I think uh, I you pull are off going to be Stan's son. I can pull off toilet. Yeah, totally. <laughs> okay. You don't want to be Haley. You, don't want, you want to be Haley. Sure. <laughs> All right. Haley. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. I need someone to be Stan. I need the most manly man. Fam, would you do it? <laughs> I need someone to be Francine. Ah, uh, dude in the back uh, with the hat backwards. Francine? Yes. Yeah. Francine? Yeah. 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 <laughs> You're gonna be Stan's boss. Come on up here. Oh. Yes, there's no one. There's other people wearing oh. yellow shirts. Oh, wow. Yellow shirts. I actually really like that. that That's costume. a really good costume. Yeah. yeah. And it's fitting because you know, playbook Patrick Stewart. Uh, <laughs> I also need someone who is willing to be. Let's see. We need. We need Haley. We also need a friend. All right, yeah, Haley, friend. you've been volunteered. Come up here. Wait, what am I? Me? No, it's okay. Yeah, no, it's not, you're, you don't the, need Haley. In fact, I don't why know. don't you be Roger? <laughs> <laughs> you are you're Steve. Actually, you're yes, kids. those those will serve you well in our toilet. Yeah. Yes, yeah. do do the toilet with those the are the bidet. The toilet thing. Those are the bidet. Okay, so those are the bidet. What we so want to do. So this is going to be acted by us. So we need everyone right now to stand on the side. Yeah, just over stand here. Stand on your side. Right here. Keep it. This is, this is too good. Keep it. All right. All right. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> industry said, turned off the commercial. We've been running this commercial for months and sales haven't increased one bit. And I think I know why. An employee butted in. Uh, maybe it's because it's too depressing? Why not a cartoon character or something? 
Rob, you're fired. <laughs> the reason sales haven't increased is because the commercial isn't depressing enough. We need something to make the consumers believe that the world is so horrible, our products will be an escape from reality. And I think I have the answer. We need not a depressing commercial, but a depressing TV show. I have connections with the famed cartoonist Sean McFreen, <laughs> creator of the acclaimed show Fat Dumb Family Man. <laughs> he has agreed to help us by <laughs> creating the most depressing, melancholy TV show ever created. The show's name? The American Sad. <laughs> It's about a CIA agent named Stan, who is also a family man. He lives with his wife, Francine, his son, Steve, and his daughter, Haley, along with a talking goldfish and an alien. Can we have anyone be the alien? Oh, okay. 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 We need a talking goldfish. Yeah, we need Can someone do a German accent? accent? Can anyone do German? Uh, you know what? You'll do it. No, I, I have a friend who's from oh, yeah? Germany. Okay, okay. cool. Yeah. Yeah. German. Yeah. German. Yeah. German. yeah. Who is y'all? Take, take your time, though. You won't be showing up just yet. <laughs> Who will love you forever. And the show is nothing but miserable and depressing occurrences in the family life. That's the worst idea for a show I've ever heard. You're fired too! Sean has created us a pilot episode so we can see firsthand what great marketing tool this cartoon will be. The CEO put in another videotape. <laughs> Let the show begin! Bad morning, USA. <laughs> I got a feeling that it's gonna be a horrible day. The cloud in the sky has a frown on his face. Why aren't you dancing, Sam? <laughs> Sadder! <laughs> Evo dance! <laughs> and he's taking a big crap on the whole human race. <laughs> Stan crawled his way out of bed, observing the frantic tampoo of rain beating against the window. <laughs> oh crap, I'm so miserable. <laughs> so miserable. His wife slowly woke. <laughs> awoke. He made his way downstairs for breakfast. As he munched on his gloomy O's, <laughs> he couldn't help but notice his family was bawling their eyes out. His daughter Haley, his son Steve, <laughs> the fish Klaus, the alien Roger, all of them, wailing like babies. <laughs> I'm so sad, said Haley. No one will listen to my ultra-liberal stuff. <laughs> I'm so sad, says Steve. I'm a perverted geek, and all my friends are losers. <laughs> I'm so sad, says Roger. I saw a website once that said aliens suck and homos suck. That means I double suck. <laughs> I'm so sad, says Klaus. I lost my friend Steve, but I'm stuck in this glass prison. <laughs> Stan scream. Shut up, all of you! <laughs> Listening to your problems only serve to remind me further of what an eternal descent into the bowels of hell my life is. I have a gun, don't make me use it. <laughs> also, every sentence in that quote had exclamation points in it. <laughs> it's worth <a> cancel. <laughs> Okay, guys, you, you can go back step or stand. 
<laughs> or stand and the dog. Everybody else go back. What? Okay. <laughs> Stan forced himself to walk out of the house and into his car so he could go to work and generally have a miserable, depressing day. While driving to his destination, he hit a dog. <laughs> I hit a dog! <laughs> Innocent, defenseless puppy! Dogs were created by Mother Nature to give us human being and beings endless hours of amusement and joy. One of these graceful creatures is dead because of me! Stan parked his car and ran towards the police station. <laughs> police! If any of you have hearts, you will arrest me and spare the earth of my evil foul deeds! <laughs> if it were not for me, this precious little dog still be prancing around, chasing cats and licking laughing children in the face. Lock me up and throw away the key! However, with a quick pop, Stan vanished from the police station all together, materializing in the public's office. <laughs> okay, can I please have some water for this next part? Someone, someone bring me some water. This, this part's hard. <laughs> Stanley Smith! <laughs> thou art late! How dareth thou defy me? Me, the great and powerful Bullock! I'm sorry, Almighty oh, Evil One. I killed a dog and yeah. silence as punishment for thy tardiness. The beast thou murdered will haunt it thou forever! A zombie dog appeared there thanks to Stan. Zombie dog. No! Cease these horrific visions of my past misdeeds and show what happiness is like! Never! Back to work! <laughs> See a change now that we've seen a violent interaction. I need Roger, Klaus, and I need all the other family members on standby. I also need a toilet. <laughs>
moments for you to put those sentences together. <laughs> Steve has the same problem as Haley. <laughs> Steve has a voice. Apparently. Then the genie of the toilet appeared and stabbed them all to death. Lamenting every single sad occurrence that had occurred to him. <laughs> the zombie dog was still following him, and at that time was sitting in the back seat reading magazines. <laughs> no, just when I thought this day couldn't get any worse, my family dies and my house burns down. <laughs> and Roger, dear sweet little Roger, you were too young to die. Good night, sweet prince. And Stan grabbed his gun. Goodbye, cruel world. Clam. Nothing. <laughs> what? Bullock appeared again. We could only assume in the passenger seat. <laughs> Bullock appears. <laughs> because I am the almighty evil wizard Bullock and cast a curse on you so thou can never escape the nightmare that is existence. How can you be so cruel? Look into your heart. Think of the suffering you're putting me through. For thy insolence, thou will suffer the added burden of watching reruns of that 80s show. <laughs> going to happen in future episodes. The entirety of every episode will be said completing for his last season long, poignant monologues. <laughs> how, how, how is that a bad idea? Hi kids, I'm Harry the Happy Bear. Why am I so happy? Because I eat half cakes. Half cakes are good nutritious snacks to eat for desserts or on picnics. They taste good and are good for you. Buy happy cakes today! Stan moaned even more. Why don't they acknowledge my pain? Why advertise their products with a stupid cartoon, rather than letting people know what I'm going through? Life is hell! The real end! Oh yeah, and I ripped this off a of Simpsons comic, I'm sorry. Can Mark Simpson cause blindness? The answer may surprise you. <laughs> <laughs> and if I can have the viewers please come up and take a bow. <laughs> I, I want to say I want to say two things to that. I want to thank everyone who got up there and acted, but you. I'm gonna smother you in your sleep tonight.